Hi, good day folks. This is Sijish here. This video we will discuss about the free IPA installation and configuration. So free IPA is the tool which is an alternate, uh, I mean open source alternate to Active Directory service. So the free IPA server service provides directory service like that is LDAP and the Kerberos. So we will uh, look into the installation of this product in RHCL6 now. So I have one server here, so which is running on CentOS 6 etc. Red Hat release. So this is CentOS 6.4, and uh, this is in 64-bit uh, operating system. And I am going to install uh, Free IPA here. So the steps are fairly simple. So first I need to install these packages. So bind and uh, this one and IPS server. Okay, so the installation and uh, dependent installation is in progress. So these are the packages I uh, used and I will be adding these comments, whatever the commands I used in the comment box. So bind and bind dyn uh, db ldap and ips server. So these are the services I am adding here. Okay, so it will take uh, some time to do this installation okay, because it's uh, downloading the packages from CentOS or Red Hat repositories. So it is expecting around uh, 200 packages. So the installation or downloading is still in progress. So we have to wait some time uh, to finish this download and installation. Okay, so now download has completed and it's uh, doing the installation or updating the packages. So now the installation has completed. So I use this step m install bind and bind dyn db ldap and ips server so this uh, step in install and downloaded and install the packages so the next step is the configure ips server so you can use this step so ipa uh, server install okay and uh, the server host name so this is the host where we are going to configure and uh, use the default or just type the same name here uh, so unable to resolve the host name so just check cat slash etc host Ooh, okay so so my etc host entry has some mistake and I, this is IP server, need to replace with IP server, that's it. Just use the same name and uh, the domain name. Okay, so I use hadoop.com. So if you have some other domain name, use that domain name. And the uh, ream name, then use the default ream name, hadoop.com. So directory manager password, use some password here. then IP admin password so this is the password you need to provide when logging into IPA server and uh, these are the information domain name ream name IP address host name etc so do you want to configure yes the default is no here so you need to select yes So you can see uh, it's configuring NTP services, then uh, certificate authority services, the couple of services, around four uh, services, it configure as part of this configuration process. Okay, so this is completed and uh, NTP, okay, so it will uh, take some time, uh, this configuration process. So this is completed and uh, yeah next it is configuring the Kerberos part. <coughs> okay. 
so <coughs> as we know ip is server uh, free ip <coughs> that contain uh, active direct i mean ldap part i mean the directory uh, services part then kdc cs certificate and dns so this is doing all those configuration so based on the input uh, we have given so now uh, the configuration has completed and i use this step ipa server install so this will install and configure all the server services and uh, okay so these ports should be open so ldap kerberos and uh, ntp etc so i'm just uh, turning off my ip tables here because i don't want to turn on ip table stop right so i'm just uh, stopping that ip ip table and to make sure like uh, my uh, services are working fine so now we will open uh, the web console uh, for free ipa server so let me open the browser so uh, check the ip address from here use if config or any uh, utility to find out the ip address so this is the ip address of the server where my IP, free ipa is running so open the browser then use https then ipa slash ui so this is the url you need to use so you can uh, get this you may get this message the connection is not private and go to the advance then proceed and save uh, okay so this is the one which i have seen like so this is uh, changing uh, this ip to the host name by default and uh, my dns or my windows machine is not able to resolve this so the workaround is you can add host file in windows uh, to point this ip address but if you are doing it in an enterprise it's already dns service will be working and uh, this would be able to resolve this so i'm going to add this IP and uh, in in my etc host file I mean the host file in my windows machine so this is the directory and uh, open the host edit with notepad and uh, add this IP address so what is the IP address and uh, this one then the host name what is the host name we need to add host name f1 f then an alias name okay saving it okay yes then uh, save it right that's it so now uh, let me uh, refresh this page again advance then proceed so this is ask authentication then use admin and whatever the password you have given oh, okay so session as expect uh, please re-login use admin then the password which I have given during the setup so this is the console then uh, so HTTPS it's using HTTPS then this is the IP, uh, name or IP address of the machine where our free IPA is running so this server and uh, IPA slash UI so this is the URL which you need to open in browser so once uh, this is done so you can just check KLS. Yes, nothing is there. Then uh, I'm going to create a new user. Okay. So by default, the admin uh, server is already connected to connected as a client in to free IPA server, right? So if you create some user here, so let me add some user. Then user name. Then first name. and whatever the password I can use here 
then add that user okay so now i have added this user and uh, check that user is here yes also you need to make sure uh, okay uh, that SSSD service is up and running yes it's running so make sure the service is turned on see it check config SSSD on so uh, one more thing uh, you need to do here so to uh, create the home directory by default so you need to uh, do this setup so so enable make home directory command so execute that script i mean that command auth config enable mk home directory so now i can log in with this user by using the password which i have given so use that okay don't know why this is not happening okay so let me okay uh, so this is created uh, okay list so try to k in it okay right so now if i type kls this is working so let me try to log log in here okay something is uh, missing in the configuration i need to sort it out so uh, so that issue i could sort it out by uh, restarting the server and uh, starting this SSSD services so I just restarted the server and started this SSSD services then I, I can I can log in with that uh, duplicate session and uh, use that user right so if you use KList so by default it's uh, doing that uh, Kerberos part for me so let me try to create one more user here so identity so admin and the password is the password sorry admin password so I'll, I'll, I'll create one more user test user so test last name is user and the password here right so add that user so I'll log in that with the test user then use the password right so initially it's asking us to change the password then new password So uh, I'm able to authenticate uh, by using uh, whatever the users I created. So let's uh, try to add a couple of uh, Linux machines to uh, uh, this authentication service. So I have one machine, so Node 1, which I'm going to add uh, with this IPS server. Okay, so let me check the user. So this is the user which I created in my free IPS server. So that user is not available so i want to add uh, this server with our uh, ipa server service so first thing we need to do is install ipa client so you use yum install ipa client okay so now this is installing ipa agent packages and uh, dependent packages okay so this is installed so yum install ipa client uh, has installed all the client packages and uh, 
dependent packages and uh, updated whatever the some of the dependent packages also so the next command we need to add this so ipa client install and uh, this command i'm going to execute on this node so here the domain name okay so the uh, server here is the ipa server host name and uh, this host name i mean so this one and uh, this should be inside etc host of node 1 so i'll open the node 1 i mean so node 1 should be able to reach that etc host then add this entry okay so use this server name so that is the IPS server So the IPS server is this is the IPS server. Yes. So this is the configuration, and uh, yes, that's it. So user authorized to enroll con computer. So that is the admin user, and the password is password. So this is going to add that and uh, so now you you can check this user so whatever the user is available inside this so uh, id test user should be able to communicate and also make sure like uh, so in it dot d service is up and running yes so i would be able to uh, log in with whatever that user we have added that so maybe the password so i think here also we need to do a reboot uh, uh, to this working so this is how we can add a uh, new nodes uh, with a free IPS server so this will provide active directory I mean uh, provide the features similar to the uh, one active directory provide so I hope you are able to uh, follow me so I will be adding this sequence of steps in the uh, description part so if you have any questions so please use the comment box and I will try to answer that so please subscribe if you have not already subscribed to this channel thank you bye